Hi, Cancer Moons. Thank you so much for being here. I am Divine Femme Care at 144. Very happy, grateful, and blessed to bring you this reading. This reading is designed for those who have their moon sign in the zodiac sign of Cancer, unlimited to anyone who should find this message or should this message find you. For this reading, I will be doing a three card spread using the Melanated Classic Tarot deck. I will clarify those three cards using the Cosmic Tarot deck. And at the end of your read, I will do an overall card from the Moonology Oracle cards. I've already pre-shuffled all three decks. I'm going to give the first deck just a couple more shuffles here. Let's flip the deck and we will begin. You are being featured in our Spotlight series, so I do want to say thank you for your kindness, unconditional love, and support. For being that watery energy that helps me to feel even deeper from within myself and really take care of myself, helping me also to take care of my home and to love everyone as best as I can each and every day. So thank you. I'll leave all this information on you in the description box. So if you'd like to check that out. Please do. I'm going to leave this right here. Let's get you your first card. We have the Two of Wands. And I'm getting this as being an offer coming through for you. As someone wanting to offer the world to you. Someone being very decisive about you and what it is that they want to do when it comes to you. We do have Break You Off by The Roots playing right now. Featuring Music Soul Child. So with this red energy, I'm getting some hot fire coming through here too as well. A lot of love. Peach being an energy of passion. So this being a continuum from your last couple of readings here, I do feel that this is about partnership with that two energy, but then a, tel a telepathic connection that's coming through as well. Wands energy is fire energy, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, and a fucus. Two of Wands is about that energy of two deciding to steer the ship and make a move forward. Having made a firm decision, now wanting to put the fire into that decision and moving into that Three of Wands of creating what is being steered and geared towards. This could be a past life energy that has come through to assist you and vice versa. Second house energy is also Taurus, so Taurus energy could be significant as well. This being a very abundant energy here too as well with the Taurus energy. Second house being a house of finances also. Okay, so let's go into your second card. We have Justice, Lady Liberty here. And it's not gender specific. This being a card of 11. We have 11, 11 here. So make a wish. And I'm seeing the 11 here with this two energy. This could be a strong Aquarius person that you're connected to. I feel this is a part of what is coming in for you as you are reaping rewards for seeds that you have been planting and have been nurturing here, watering and giving good love to, staying dedicated and faithful to the work that you've been doing for yourself, knowing that there's going to be a fruitful harvest that comes from this, that justice being connected to this. There's a telepathic connection that's going on here very strongly between you and another person. And I'm seeing this being a part of justice here too, where you're able to have this wonderful connection that is without interference. I feel there's a strong internal and very deep knowing between you and this other person. And I'm seeing the pink and purple at the crown of the, the justice energy in the middle here. Surrounding the crown. That also having to do with heart chakra energy of love, even though it's in the crown center, I do feel it's connected to your connection and a very strong love relationship here. 
So with that pink being combined with the purple, I'm just getting that as being the love communication between you and someone else and this being justice. That's coming in for you where you may have been giving a lot of love and not necessarily receiving it back. You're receiving it back in a very special, magical way here, which is super awesome. The green energy is also heart chakra energy. That being across the shoulders and coming down, I'm just seeing that being a part of filling one up here. You being filled up with good love and emotion. Balance being restored, seeing the scales there. And then another part of the justice coming in for you is that sword of truth that's being held here. I'm also seeing a 10 energy here, that breaking down to a one and a new beginning. And that one next to the 10 speaking to that new beginning, possibly two new beginnings. So more two energy coming through. 22 is a master number and it has to do with being a master builder. It's a very, it's a very powerful master number. Constructively building something on a foundation of balance, fairness, solidity and truth and also unconditional love but unconditional love in a way that's very divine and very protected libra energy here too as well and i'm getting high priestess and here fire energy seeing the two pillars those being counterparts and a high spiritual connection. That high priestess energy did come through with the two energy, with the two of wands. The hair font being a card of five in the major arcana. So that could be significant. Hair font is also Taurus energy. So we have a blend here of that Taurus energy coming from the hair font, but then high priestess with the two energy there, with the high priestess being the two in the major arcana. That's pretty dope. Let's see what we have for your third card. We have the Knight of Swords. So with this, I'm just getting that if there was any abrasive or abrupt communication that was coming through while you were in the midst of reuniting and reconnecting with another, justice is coming in for any kind of aggressive behavior here and that's what I'm getting here with this knight of swords I also feel like this happened with the last reading and so you may have Gemini cusping energy this is very similar energy but what I'm gonna do <laughs> just like I did with the last reading we're gonna put this down here just with the knowing that justice is coming in for this particular energy and that as above, so below energy is coming through. What we put out there is what we get back. Swords energy is air energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So strong Libra coming through. This could be Libra energy. Do take it as it resonates. So what is coming through for you? Because I'm feeling like it could be a good blend of each of these air signs here. It's also being connected to a past energy. Possibly someone you may have left behind. And the night energy is a part of chariot energy. That being a card of seven in the major arcana. But the night energy is also about defending so with that abruptness that I was getting from this Knight of Swords, they could be in that resistance to change, that possibly being why you left this energy behind. With you moving forward and receiving justice, this just may be something that is triggering. I'm getting this as being a trigger. Let's see what we have for your, your actual third card here. We have a Page of Cups. So with this, I'm getting this being about an apology here. Because you've moved forward, because you've moved on, because you've been able to overcome successfully and not fall down, not be defeated, nor stay down. 
we're going to do one more card. And what I'm hearing is to be mindful of this. I would say to be that wonderful, compassionate person that you are, but you also are very intuitive. And I would say listen to that as best as you can here. Doing what is best for you. Because what we have here is your wish here. Wish fulfillment coming true and through. And I'm just going to leave these. I feel like these go hand in hand here. Almost as if it's that Gemini energy where I was saying there's a good blend that's coming through. I am getting this being a Gemini person. So with Gemini energy, possibly a magician that's coming through where they have two different sides to themselves here and can be one particular way that's very aggressive, but then can flip and be this wonderful, nice lighthearted, childlike individual here that can be full of love and emotion and happiness. I do feel there is an energy behind that magician energy that was coming through where they want to keep you and contain you in a certain way, seeing that energy there, that being a part of a past pattern. And I feel like this is what's been hiding behind this person and that abruptness and what you're able to see through coming stronger into your intuitiveness and being able to overcome obstacles. Justice coming in overall. I feel this is a very strong representation of what's happening with your reading here too as well. So you've got wish fulfillment here. And notice the, it's, I would say the way that these cards were here in between Justice and this Nine of Cups here. Again, I'm just hearing to be mindful and to use your intuition. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and remove these two cards because we did get the story for that. And move into this wish fulfillment here for you. This being a card of nine, card of Sagittarius, ninth house energy, but then also Jupiter energy and the abundant blessings. I feel this is that part that I was feeling where you're reaping the rewards for the hard work that you've been doing. You're also um, someone's wish here too. You being someone's wish here, I'm seeing the white energy coming through, also with the gray, that giving me your energy with white being your, your color and then gray being Capricorn color. Being very accomplished. These are the seeds that you've been planting and what it is that you've been growing and having something very strong to show for it here. This is a strong independent energy here too as well. This is more of your energy here with the water energy of cups and then Scorpio, Pisces, and a few kids. Very stable and um, well put together individual here who has a lot of successes. And I just, again, feel this is you reaping the reward from your hard work. I'm hearing cups, 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 cups. <laughs> Cele so, uh, good celebrating energy here. A happy energy. Okay, so let's get to your clarifiers. We'll clarify the two of wands. And we'll, we can um, bring back those other two cards to clarify just to get confirmation. But I'm pretty sure that's a past energy for you that given the past couple of readings you've had, someone that you moved away from coming from a five of swords energy with that abruptness from the knight of swords, I was not getting a good energy from that. Clarify the two of wands. And this being a part of the reason you have this wonderful new start and justice coming in for you here. Almost as if a, a huge protector here. Clarify the two of wands. You're totally safe and protected. No BS is what I'm hearing. <laughs> no BS. We have the two of wands clearing the two of wands. 
So who it is that you're connecting to, being very sure. I feel you're very sure. This is about you and this other person, being very sure about what it is that you want to do. So two energies steering the ship and moving into a three of wands, creating together more two energy about partnership, putting the fire into this decision and these new ace of wand energies. I feel this is that divine connection here with the masculine and the feminine energy here. Two of Wands clarifying the Two of Wands. Two of Wands and Two of Wands is Four of Wands, that being that wonderful union energy here and the 1111 energy. That being connected to the Justice with that 11 here. You have 1111 here, 1111 here. Twin Flame cards. That's also a Twin Flame energy, the Four of Wands, and also having to do with great stability. A wonderful love connection. A lot of happiness. That's good family energy. High vibe energy for sure. Stability energy connected to you with that fourth house energy of cancer. Four is being about stability and structure. And the master builder number with the twos coming in there too. 22 and the master builder, you and another person constructively building together on a solid foundation that has everything to do with truth, justice, balance. This being a part of your wish fulfillment here, unobstructed, safe and protected, ready to go. I'm also noticing the energy of this past energy facing towards the west of transformative energy. And now with this clarifying energy, we have the confidence of having hope and faith and believing and taking a step forward into this wonderful connection. Almost to say, I got your back here you and someone else super beautiful this is pretty so let's clarify the justice card Justice on that Two of Pentacles energy that I do feel is related to the Knight of Swords and the Page of Cup energy, where I am getting that as being Gemini energy. One person. And that could be one person with that soul energy that could be similar people that are in your lives or were in your lives that had similar energy that were designed as obstacles or obstructions to help you to overcome and to move into greater power and strength and greater cycles that are going to bring in more blessings and abundance. Two of Pentacles is about juggling here. And this could also be about with you connected to that individual, this taking effect on you where you were juggling, having to juggle and taking the focus away from you knowing that your ships are coming in. The yin and yang symbol being there on that ship there. You can also see the energies that are around the feet here. And that snake energy. Normally I would pick that up in a certain way. I'm just getting more of a lower vibration with this. And this being a transmutation of the two energy. And oh boy, did you transmute this energy because the strong twos that are coming through are creating and building here. This is wonderful. Pinnacles energy is earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Let's clarify the nine of cups. Well, we've seen that King of Pentacles, but I don't feel that wanted to come through. I feel like that wanted to be seen. Clarify the Nine of Cups. King of Pentacles in reverse energy that came through automatically was about someone withholding and not sharing. Having abundance and just not being very nice. Clarify the Nine of Cups.
And this was in reverse. I'm going to leave that. I feel there's some enlightenment here. And that tower being a part of this enlightenment. So if there was hangman energy, the tower came in for this to break this energy of there being any kind of stagnancy. Or if you were at any kind of point being a sacrificial lamb, this coming to an end here too. By the work that you were doing, going within, taking yourself here. I'm seeing this as yourself here now. Receiving that enlightenment to be able to strengthen yourself, taking a pause, this being three energy with this being a card of 12, that breaking down to a three, being Empress energy, and that being a part of this three of wands energy here too, with the strong two of wands, clarified by the two of wands, three of wands being the next, that being that after, okay, we're steering the ship and going towards what it is that we want now that we know, and now we're creating, this being connected to this energy with this being in reverse complete solid enlightenment and that wonderful moon i'm getting this as moon energy and sun energy masculine and feminine being wonderful enlightenment here to receive downloads and connect to the divine here so you being someone's wish but then also your wish coming true and through and this being a tower moment with the enlightenment that's obtained by both of you here the knowledge and the wisdom gained, I feel this is more clarity about that knowing. And now having that knowing, the fire action is putting forth a new beginning here for you. And, you know, if this was where you have a wish of that individual that, you know, is coming through very heavily here in this reading and they were in hangman position, this being over here with this tower moment, breaking down that foundation so that there can be a new start. I'm also getting with the juggling, that also being connected to this energy possibly here too. Being in hangman energy, but also being this energy here and just continuing those cycles, this being brought down so that your wish can come through. Let's see if we can get a card here for this energy here. Let's clarify the Knight of Swords and Page of Cups. Clarify the Knight of Swords and the Page of Cups. Five of Swords. That's before the Six of Swords that you had coming out twice in your last two readings. Consecutive Six of Swords. Five of Swords is right before this. This is painful energy. Someone who is battling that aggressive energy, that abruptness, but then also the back and forth energy, being nice one second and then, or being, you know, a certain way, being very abrupt and not so nice, but then also being nice, like right after that, which I feel was, um, Affecting you in a very negative uh, negative way here. And it's being clarified by the Five of Swords here. Five being transitional energy. This being about the change that's designed for you. So realizing and having compassion for this person. Knowing that they volunteered to take on this role. To help you to come into greater. And you coming into this person's life to help them as well. If they should receive it. But you're open to receive it and making the change here. So we do have this powerful energy and then justice coming through. Justice for a five of swords and a two of pentacles energy. Also hangman energy. Tower being brought in so that your wish is coming true and through. Swords energy, that being that Gemini energy. And then also Libra and Aquarius. And again, they could have a good combination of all air signs there. Very hurtful energy here. Winning at all costs. Wanting to win the battle or battles and not really focused on the bigger picture. So we'll just go ahead and we've got that clarified. So I'm going to move this out here and we'll get to your final card with the moon card. For Cancer Moons.
It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. All this fire. This is so pretty. It's time to take action. Let me get the reading. Okay, it's time to take action. New moon in Aries. The flame is lit. A wonderful new start beckons and you're on the right track. Drawing this card is a superbly positive sign if there is something you want to happen in your life. Take this card as a big yes from the universe. This is the time to really tune into your dreams. You may still have a long way to go. After all, Aries is the first sign of the zodiac, but you're on your way. Determination, self-assertion, and bravery are called for, but the hot fire of Aries is driving you toward success and whatever endeavor you're asking about. The caution, don't go too fast and forget your manners. Treat people well as you charge towards your goals. You'll create much better karma for yourself. Oh yes, I agree. So attuning to the moon, don't even think about giving up. Additional meanings for this card, do your best and be happy with that. Avoid being brash right now. You need a 12-month plan, and a new male is coming into your life. The teaching. Aries is the first sign of the zodiac, so the new moon in Aries is the first of the 12 or 13 new moons of the year. 13. If you're committed to working with all the lunations, then the new moon in Aries is the right time to start. And drawing this card, no matter when you do it, signifies it's also the ideal time to start your moon work such as setting intentions, which is very so true right now with the alignment and what's happening with the planets. We did just come from a full moon, but we're moving towards a new moon and that being about setting wonderful intentions. So you're definitely on the right path. That even being triple, quadruple confirmation for you. So Cancer Moons, this was your wonderful reading. Continue to delight in this wonderful love that is coming through for you and the blessings that continue to come for you as well. This is just super beautiful. Very blessed reading. And um, I hope you enjoyed these messages. And I hope that they were helpful, enlightening, empowering, and enriching. I thank you all for your continued love and support. Welcome to all new subscribers. And until we meet again, I wish you all the very best. Take great care. I love you. Peace.